And uh, next meditation is going to be 10 stroke breath to experience the world beyond. We are going to be moving our prana, our life energy to higher states of consciousness. We're going to fuel higher state of consciousness with our 10 stroke breath. And it's a little bit more demanding exercise because we would have to deal with many inhales and many exhales moving diaphragm. Otherwise, it's a pleasant, fun, as many other Kriyas and meditations and Kundalini Yoga practice. We are going to be creating a different state of consciousness to carry us through this confined, limited situation to very unconfined situation. So we're going to be able to look from different perspective into the situation, into ourselves, our own patterns of thoughts, of behavior. It's good. We can know that beyond our world, there is another world. And we may start searching for that new world, meaning that we might appreciate the world of higher consciousness. We might appreciate the way we look at things from higher perspective and we might like it. So then we might strive to look at things from new perspective and that's how habits change and habits control our destiny. We can change our destiny by changing our habits to more conscious ones, to more life energizing habits, to more life promoting habits. And uh, this exercise is definitely a technique of the mind. If the meditative mind can be achieved and used, mankind can bring all the happiness to itself. We are invoking neutral state of mind, meditative state of mind, more conscious, more present, more sattvic, and it's a very powerful and healthy place to be in, in meditative mind. We are going to be sitting in easy pose and we are going to be keeping our spine straight as usual with a light Jalantar Bandh, the neck lock, and we're going to split our fingers into V, just like that. V for victory. <laughs> victory of higher consciousness. Higher consciousness prevails. And our thumb is going to be pointed out and this is the mudra, the mudra for both hands, okay? So our base of the hand is approximately on the shoulder level, like this, something like that, right? Palms facing forward, the hands and elbows are vertically aligned, and we evenly press the shoulder blades together that we can keep inside edges of them parallel each other. And we are going to be looking at the tip of the nose, inhaling through the nose in 10 different strokes, about two strokes per second. And then we exhale through the nose in 10 different strokes. <laughs> and again, inhale, 10 strokes, <laughs> and exhale, 10 strokes. <laughs> and we repeat this pattern of 
inhaling and exhaling for 11 minutes and we can do this exercise at home for 11 or 31 minutes. When we look at the tip of the nose, we concentrate and direct the optical nerve, which is the nearest to the sensory system of the brain, which thinks, imagines, and does. By splitting the fingers, we are controlling both hemispheres of the brain. And when we split the thumb, we split the ego. So we are moving to new perceptions, to new worlds, to new ways of operating due to the new ways of perceiving reality. Let's see how it's going to work for us. 11 minutes, no mantras, just 10 small inhales and 10 small exhales. Eyes on tip of the nose. Come, come, 
deep stretch all the way up stretch hold the breath for 10 seconds as you stretch your spine upward stretch stretch and exhale one more time inhale deep Stretch all the way up, hold the breath for 10 seconds. And exhale. One more time, inhale deep. Stretch all the way up, hold the breath. It's interesting that when we do many inhales and many exhales, we stimulate in such way second chakra, by the way. It's just a note to remember. And after this Kriya, it's good to give yourself plenty of rest, take it easy, relax. And um, we are going to be closing our lesson today with wishes to everybody of prosperity and consciousness, prosperity of thought, of ways of being, and I uh, will wish everybody may the long time, sunshine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you, guide your way on, guide your way on. And uh, with Kundalini Yoga tradition, we're gonna close the space with three long satnams. Satnam Satnam Now, namaste, and we shall see each other next week. Satnam.